you touch my soul like a phantom hey guys and you welcome back to my channel so today we're gonna be playing in makeup and i just want to film a whole bunch of makeup videos revolving around the holiday season i feel like this is the best time to just be like rocking out crazy amazing makeup looks because there's so many parties to be at right so that's what I'm going to be doing today and I created this look right here you guys I am obsessed with this look I love the mermaid vibes it's giving me but at the same time I feel like it wouldn't be ridiculous for you to wear this to a party especially like New Year's or something like that and now right now I feel like glitter and metallics are just so trending in the makeup world that I've just gotten so much of it in PR and I'm like absolutely I'm going to use this makeup and just play with the different colors. Of course I will list all the products that I used down below. If you want to see how I created this look then just keep on watching the video. Alrighty, first things first, let's prime those lids. I'm just using a concealer. This is Becca's Ultimate Coverage in Macadamia. Then you're of course gonna want to set that concealer, that way the shadows show true to color. I'm using ColourPop's You Had Me At Hello and I'm mixing those two neutral shades together. We want this to be a beautiful gradient. So if you work with your lightest shades, first that are going to be blown out and then work in lightest shade to darkest it's going to be gorgeous then going in with the element of surprise palette and then taking that beautiful burgundy color so this took me by surprise i didn't expect it to be as pigmented but i also didn't dust this off right away and you can see it's a little bit patchy at first which is okay it blended out easily I felt like I didn't have to work too hard to blend it out I just made sure that I went in back and forth in windshield wiper motions to ensure that this blended out and I'll move my finger or my hand if you will on the brush and change how much pressure I apply to the brush this will make a huge difference in what the actual eyeshadow blends out to, as you can see. And it'll be messy in the beginning, but towards the end, it comes together. Then I want to blow that out a little more. Remember, blending is key. And I just applied a shade lighter back in with that Element of Surprise palette and just blend it out. And so I wanted to try these. These are the, what is it, ColourPop Supernova Shadows. I'm not a fan of these, you guys. I felt like they weren't as opaque as I was hoping it to be. And it just added a weird texture to my lid. I kind of wanted to use it as a base because the metallics in this palette, I wanted them to work really brightly but it didn't it didn't really perform the way that I thought it would uh, this is the urban decay beauty with an edge palette and I mixed the two shades spandex and metal head in the palette so all of these shades in this palette are all metallic and they're gorgeous they were really easy to work with and then here I'm taking the shade dive and just putting it in the outer V so I had no idea how I wanted this look to turn out I just knew that I wanted to play with these colors and you guys when I tell you that I'm obsessed with how this came out with I'm so obsessed it's such a fun festive uh, party look and then I dive back in that element of surprise palette and deepen the outer and inner but I didn't want to deepen it too much because I want to put a black on the outer corner as you will see so I just dipped in that uh, browner shade and just put a little more dimension if you will in the shadows so there's a lot of different colors that I used in this eyeshadow palette it was just for uh, the fun of using the shades so I also used the new Urban Decay distortion palette and I just used the black and I packed so I pat the black. That makes such a huge difference because it keeps the color saturated versus blended, if that makes sense. So I wanted a black on the end. I still wanted it to look blended, which you can totally do. You just do this patting motion and blend like little by little. Then remove your handy dandy tape, boom, super easy. I mix these two together to prime my face. Bare Mineral Skin Longevity, I'm obsessed with. And then these Smashbox Tried and True, you guys see these two duos together so much and they just look wonderful together and I also mixed these two hourglass foundations together I haven't used these foundations in so long and they're the vanish foundations in amber and golden tan so these are hella full coverage and it just that's what I was looking for I'm like really going there for makeup and this foundation in my opinion blends so much better with a brush and that's what I'm using I'm actually using the brush that they recommend to use with these foundations and I think it's absolutely beautiful to 
to cream contour my skin, I'm using the Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Deep Neutral. So this ended up being super dark for me in the beginning. I like, I was like, ooh, this is super dark. But with this concealer, it blends out so beautifully. Once I was able to distribute the product where I want it, I just took the foundation brush that I used initially to blend out my skin, and it just blended to be such a natural, nice contour slash bronze. So I, it, it just created a nice base for the bronzer that I'm going to place on top of it later. You see, like when I blend it out with the foundation brush, it ends up looking so beautiful. Now for under my eyes, I want a full coverage look again. So I went in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Full Coverage Concealers and I mixed the shades Medium Dark Warm and Medium Neutral. I put the darker shade first and then a little bit of the lighter shade on top of it. And this works better when you work with one eye at a time, I've noticed. It dries down really quickly and I even find with just the eye that you apply it first, you want to blend it out immediately. And I find that using the beauty blender is the best way to make this um, concealer look more natural if you will and for it to blend nicely into the skin it melts really nicely with a dampened beauty blender and as you can see it really lifts up my eye and it gives it a whole lot of coverage all right and of course to set the under eyes I'm using the Laura Mercier uh, under eye brightening powder this will just set those under eyes and make sure that they look nice and bright and last all day. And then to set the rest of my face, I'm pulling out the Ben Nye Banana Powder. Where has this powder been? I actually watched another YouTuber's uh, video and she used this to set her face, Miss Rosh Posh. If I'm not mistaken, I'll link her down below and it looked so beautiful. And then of course, I'm using the Too Faced, uh, what is it, Coco uh, Bronzer Soleil something like that. You know what I'm talking about? I've been using chocolate bar. That's it. <laughs> and bronzing my face. I love this brush by Eco Tools, by the way. It's been working so great for bronzing, which is what it's for. I'm going to definitely mention it in a favorites video. And tight line and curl your lashes, which is what I'm doing. And I used the Huda Beauty Lashes in Farrah number 12, and I made sure to curl them together. Go ahead and tight line your eye and put wing liner wherever you want to and then go back in with the element of surprise palette mix those two same shades that you did on your um, lid and put the same colors on your lower lash line that way they go together and they look fluid and I want the lower lash line to be more smoky so I added the same black to the outer V I really wanted the outer V's to tie in together and by doing this step it really does that and I also wanted to play with the blues in the Urban Decay palette so bad so I ended up mixing these two eyeliners by Marc Jacobs. I absolutely love these liners. The two shades are, what shades are these? Wavelength and Odyssey and I mixed the tealer color in the inner corner and the darker blue on the outer. And then I go back in, lashes change the shape of your eyes, of course. I go back in and blow the outer V out with the element of surprise by ColourPop. And then I go back in with the black just to pat in a little bit more of that black. I don't want that to disappear. And then the fun part, I go back in with that Urban Decay um, what is it? Sorry, I'm dropping stuff. Beauty with an edge and make sure I set those colors. And then I go in with these Urban Decay uh, heavy metal glitter eyeliners and I mix the shade spandex and distortion together and it's so beautiful I really feel like that's what made this eye look pop. I love these glitter liners so much and then of course highlight your brow bone I'm just using shades from the element of surprise palette. All right, and for our cheeks I'm going in with the Ulta Beauty Melissa Michelle palette my palette and I'm using my blush that's in there Mahal It is the most perfect blush shade ever and I feel like I'm not even being biased it just goes with so many color or so many looks and you can go heavy-handed or light-handed and it's just gorgeous and it matched this eye makeup look so well shameless plug-in <laughs> and then I am contouring and bronzing my face with the it cosmetics contour kit I love this thing this shade is super dark but it's it's super easy to blend out and once I contour all of that out, I'm gonna go in with my Ben Nye Banana Powder and set 
uh, those areas by my contouring just because I want them to stand out more and look more clean versus being splotchy and I feel like by doing this it just looks much better and then while that's cooking if you will I'm mixing the Becca uh, highlighter and prismatic amethyst which is absolutely gorgeous it has a purple undertone and it just matched my eye look so perfectly and then I go in with lime crimes highlight in opals and I mix the color gold on top of it just to give it a little bit more character a little bit of a gradient to it if you will that way it wasn't just straight up pinky purple shade and yes I highlight my cheeks and my nose and my chin you know wherever you want it highlighted. Then go back in and clean up those areas that you uh, applied the banana powder, where you applied the highlight, that way it just all blends together. And for my lips, I'm using Huda Lip Liner or Lip Contour in the shade uh, Bombshell. And then I use, I didn't show you the container of course, because I suck, Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in the shade Truffle. And this just matched the eyes so well. It was neutral enough, but it also had a little bit of a pink undertone set your entire face and girl we are ready for a night out i hope you guys enjoyed this video i had so much fun playing with color and give me a thumbs up for another video like this i'm gonna pump out these holiday looks and as always thank you so much for watching my video and i'll see you guys next time bye